Hi everyone, it's Drew from Technology, and um, today I want to give a video that's kind of an overview table of contents of uh, the resources we have for Google Classroom and uh, give you an idea of where you want to start uh, to add to your learning stuff you already know about Google Classroom or just begin if you're starting fresh um, from Google Classroom. So I want to share some of the things that uh, Dawn and Aaron and I have put together already for our district and some resources and videos that other people have put together that are really high quality for us um, and where to find them, how to find them and how to access and log in. So I've started out right here with my um, district account uh, and a lot of times it's going to come up as paused right when I sign, uh, turn on it's going to be paused and I'm going to have to sign in again and that's good that just keeps everybody out. Um, so let's see if I can remember my password. So you can see now I'm signed in and uh, my gateway page will load and I can get to some of the uh, resources I'd like to share. So one item would be on our gateway page, um, Digital Badges Professional uh, Development button down here at the bottom, where if I load that up, one of the items on here is uh, Google Classroom. And that's not to say you necessarily have to uh, complete this badge, but here's the, the Learn button on this page will go to Google's website for teacher training for Google Classroom. So this has a lot of resources if this is the style that you like of reading through and um, it's got uh, videos and um, uh, testimonials from teachers who are using this and how they're using it in the classroom and, and which activities they're doing. Uh, and then a lot of, here's a lot of how to, how to create a new class, how to create an assignment and a topic, add students and guardians, uh, and those kind of things, the grading tool that's in there and the different um, just how to navigate the interface uh, so that's a good um, place to start it's teacher center uh, with google.com up there so the link is from our gateway to the digital badges professional development site uh, that's one strong resource for us another place to take a look is um, actually a playlist of YouTube videos that uh, I want to share with you right here. So if I go to YouTube um, and I'm going to search for Alice, okay. And I'm going to search for Alice Keeler Google Classroom. And this search in YouTube will bring up Alice Keeler's channel and um, quite a lot of videos that she's got. If I go right to her channel right here, if I scroll down in her page, then I can find these uh, ViewSonic edited videos and two of these playlists are the Alice Keeler Google Classroom playlist with 49 short videos. They're like two to three minutes uh, on average, real short of just a single task, how to add students, um, how to give feedback on uh, classwork how to set up topics. Uh, so you can kind of browse through this playlist and um, here's the whole playlist along the side and you can see what her topics are. Logging in, create an assignment. Uh, down further I can find uh, email notifications. So it, she's got it sorted out nicely by topics for us already and uh, we can use that as a resource you can also I'd like to show down here when I'm watching this video um, I can hit that gear and change the playback speed to uh, quarter speed slow half speed slow or speed it up even also to double speed if I need to so that allows you to go through and watch it uh, again watch it slowly see what she's doing what she's clicked on uh, at your speed good one right there and as you can see in the there's a couple of these that have been taken off because they're no longer up to date, so they're uh, checking back as Google updates Google Classroom and removing the videos that don't pertain anymore. So the, the items that are still in this playlist is quite a few um, that are still up to date and make uh, and, and will pertain for your use, so adding a co-teacher. Okay. I want to show uh, the other playlist as well is the updates. So this first playlist to 49 with some removed is was the beginning of 2018 and then uh, there was an update uh, playlist done in uh, 
July or so of 2018 as well. So Google made some big changes in that year with Classroom, and uh, this playlist has a lot of those updates in it. Um, so if they fell off of this playlist and were removed, they got updated over here in her second playlist. Save to these links, you can go to youtube.com and search for Alice Keeler Google Classroom and get there the way I just showed. Um, and I've also shared these links on a, uh, in another spot I want to show in a second. So um, here again, here's her playlist, uh, the, you know, create class, create assignment. I can scroll down. She's still uh, getting rid of stuff that is, has changed recently and is no longer pertaining. Uh, so that's good. It's being updated and, and maintained. Um, viewing student work. So again, we can sort through and look for topics that are uh, pertinent at the time that you need it. And again, here's the little settings cog wheel that allows you to change playback speed. Okay, those are two great uh, YouTube sources that uh, are already set up for us, really short videos on specific topics that we can use if you want to kind of refresh um, your knowledge, add to your knowledge on Google Classroom of how you know to use it, and come back and review, review, review as you need to. So sometimes I need to you know, refresh on a topic or I, I know I'm going to have a um, uh, trouble, let's say, creating an assignment and uh, forgetting how to do it and I want to refresh it uh, kind of repeatedly over and over again, I can find this video and I can save it to uh, my own playlist for later. So I can hit this, here's my video window right here and then scroll down a little ways and there's an add to plus button right here. I can add it to either my watch later or I can make my own playlist you know, called Google Classroom and add it to that for later. Uh, so I wanna check back with this and have it available uh, frequently for myself, so I'm gonna add it to watch later. And now it's, it's um, saved, I don't have to go search it back up every single time. So if there's a couple of these that are, hey, I'm not ready for this uh, skill yet, multiple choice questions, I don't need that right now, but I think I'm gonna use that in the future, maybe I'll save it to a uh, watch later or save it to a playlist for later and come back. Okay, one of our other resources that we have already available is uh, a Google Classroom that I've uh, put together with uh, help of some of our other um, teachers. And uh, here's my join code for that Google Classroom. So if you're already in Google Classroom a little bit um, and you wanna see what other things we have, um, you can join this Google Classroom. It was set up about a year ago and all the material in there is still uh, available um, and it has some uh, resources and some exercises uh, that we can you can practice on whenever you're uh, able to and so pause the video and use that uh, join code um, in Google Classroom let's just I'm just gonna copy it and see what it looks like when I go join classroom so one thing I can do is Wait a minute, here. All right, so one thing I can do if I need to uh, join that classroom, I'm, again, I'm signed in on my teacher account, and I'm gonna go to classroom.google.com, and if it's the first time you signed in, it'll have a little bit of a different um, uh, look to it. Once you get in, uh, there's a little plus sign up here that says join or create a class. Um, I'm gonna join a class and join that code that we just looked at for our Google Classroom class. Uh, CP7CA6W, all lower cases. When I hit join, it's going to add that class to my Google Classroom. And now I, I'm in as a student and I can see um, if I click on the classwork tab up here, it's gonna give me a tour of the first time through topic filters, all right. Uh, so I can see some of the assignments. Um, they've been numbered so I know kind of which order my teacher wanted me to go through them. You don't have to go through them in that order. Uh, so these are some exercises that may be useful um, and or maybe they're sparking questions and you can 
uh, contact me and Dawn and Aaron uh, with questions after looking through uh, and uh, practicing on this and using this in combination with Google's teacher training page and with um, Alice Keeler's videos uh, to um, set up and train or you know contact Dawn and Aaron and I for um, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or grade level training uh, or something like that.